guys hello welcome to polka 2k 2k i'm pocahontas back with another video if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel already make sure you like and subscribe and also like this video today we about to be doing half of my morning routine i already got in the shower i gotta wash my face blow my nose brush my teeth and we're gonna do a little girl chat right after that um so yes yeah, stay tuned for more peace out <laughs> Right now, I'm about to brush my teeth. Gotta brush the chompers. <laughs> Gotta brush the chompers. I just wasted. All that goddamn toothpaste just literally came off of my toothbrush. I'm just so hurt right now. Butt hurt. Wash my face. I gotta take this um um eyelash uh, glue off of my eye and eyeliner. So let's see, I should do this last night, but um, when I got off of work last night, I was tired. I hate using. I hate using it to take it off. But sometimes I feel like I be scratching my eye on it too much. But since I've been using them, my eye has been okay. And plus it won't make a mess on my um it won't make a mess on my rags no more. Cause normally I use a rag to take it off. Cause it be getting off way faster because you scrubbing it. Versus this, don't have any rag pressures because it's just a makeup remover. I have broken nose, I don't wash my face. That I know. It's always one eye that is difficult than the other eye. All of it is out, and then about to wash the face. Okay, so in my first morning routine video, I use this. My face was great. I love it. I really love it. I love it a lot. And then after I do my face scrub, I'm gonna put on my face mask. It's very pretty. You gotta see the color of my face. And after we do the washing my face and do the face mask, I'm gonna go in here and make a smoothie real quick. And then sit down and talk to you guys about some girl stuff, a girl chat. Like, hello. Happy Thursday. Hello, happy Thursday, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Okay, but yeah, we about to do the face mask. I have a face mask. I mean, we about to do the 
facial scrub, then the face mask. And then we're gonna get on the topic. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This is how it looks. The face scrub. When it comes out, it looks like that. And it has some beads in it or something. I don't know what they're called. And my little face scrubber. over my eyes just so I know I get all that stuff on because you know if you have me your eyelashes I know I probably got boogers in my nose because it's got their water and I rinsed with cold water so I put it I put the mask on with a facial scrub on with warm water and I rinse with cold water to lock in the moisturizer. And you didn't, you guys didn't see me um, do my shower routine because I need a tripod. I'm gonna like, edit this out the video the whole time. I was blowing my nose. <laughs> so I did my face mask, as you can see. I did my mask. I made my face scrub. And it felt so good. <laughs> yeah. My face scrub. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the. Face mask. This takes a little while to put on. This is also how I'm keeping my body on. I edges. So yeah. And I use this little thing. Pop up set this great in there. So. And after that. Rinse this with warm water. You use warm water with this to rinse off. And then I put on my <clears throat> my witch hazel. And then I do the um, pour the the deep moisturizer cream. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Could not do that. I was gonna say. <clears throat> okay, so while I'm putting on this, I think we can do a little chat. So today. I want to talk to you guys about like just being you and how some people would not like you because you're being you. Like it's all about personality. If you haven't noticed that, like, during school, if you was, like, a class clown because they had a nice personality, like, they could make people laugh, and there's other people that would just be looking like, I can't do that because I don't have the make people laugh card and stuff like that. Yeah. Just being yourself. And not getting discouraged because of the next person around you who either gets more attention or whatever because I have been seeing 
a lot of stuff on social media. There's a lot of females, actually. A lot of females, let me say females. A lot of females have been feeling like they're not good enough. And that is a bad mindset. A bad mindset for us females in general and because it's 2023. And suicide is real. So being yourself is just accepting who you are and saying fuck what Pope, fuck what society has to say. Fuck what social media says that you should be like. Honestly, I support pretty much everybody. I don't like some things that females do, but hey, it's not me, so it ain't got shit to do with me. Excuse my friend. It has nothing to do with me. It's not me, so it has nothing to do with me. My opinion really don't matter. They say your opinion is like two cents to the next person. Your opinion does not matter to the next person. Well, I know it don't matter to me, but it shouldn't matter. And I truly believe that they don't care about your opinion. They still gonna be the dumb. They still gonna do their life. Like whether they, you know, do vulgar activities or go to a nine to five job. It's their life. They're gonna do them regardless. So being okay. I'm sorry you got hold on. This shit is on my lip. It's not supposed to be on there. Okay, sorry you guys. Concentration got stuck on my lip right here. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Being okay in your body is the only thing that matters in 2023. Accept yourself. Stop wanting society or your parents or your cousin, your ex, your boyfriend, stop wanting them to accept you and just accept yourself. I'd rather want you to accept your own self than to look for validation from someone else. Yeah, I gotta do that in that hour. I just had to get the stuff off my lips, I'm sorry. Yeah. And seek validation from yourself. No one else. And you're beautiful just the way you are. I am sorry, but I don't think that image should be a part of the thing. I feel like image is just a cover up of what is happening in deeper in your body and soul that you're not trying to cater to. You put a whole lot of work on your image on the outside so you can have the shit, the stuff, so you can have the stuff that you don't like about yourself on the inside. And with, so it's like, you cover it with a band-aid. Slowly it starts sleeping out. Slowly, bullets start oozing out the band-aid. Then it's like, oh crap, we gotta put another band-aid on it. Still again, so slowly oozing out the band-aid. You're not doing nothing to heal your wound that you have that keeps leaking every time you put a band-aid over it and think it's just gonna be fixed like that. It's not, it's not like that. So becoming one with yourself in 2023 is the best thing I could say because I'm learning that. I'm learning to be okay with myself. Like, I have a very, very happy-go-lucky, bubbly, crackhead energy personality. I am that person. And a lot of people don't like that. Like, a lot of people do not like the fact that you're bubbly, happy-go-lucky, because that's what they're missing in their life. But the thing is, just look at it this way. If you're missing some of that in your life, and it's a person willing to be around you and give you that type of energy because you missing it in your life, it just shows that either way you go, if you're missing it in your life, you still got a person who's there. Something who's there. A person, place, thing, whatever. Something who's there to bring you what you lack. You know what I'm saying? Everybody lacks something. Everybody lacks something. That's why relationships are like 
a give and receive, a give and take. So like, how can I say this? Let me see. Okay, we're gonna take my ex for example. Not my recent ex that I still love and adore and I will never get over. I'm sorry, no. that's my man, I don't care. That's, that's my man, yes, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, so take my ex for example. So he didn't, he was not educated for real. So meaning that he was illiterate and I was the one that was able to help him along the way in his schoolwork and how to, how to read and stuff like that. He lacked the smartness that I had, but I lacked, I lacked, with him I lacked control. He had control over how he would feel about his situation that he was in, but I didn't have control because he knew what his situation was and he accepted it. Back then, I didn't accept anything that was a situation in my life. I would literally just shut down. Oh my God, what is going on? Please somebody help me. I'm crying and this and that. He knew what control was. I didn't. I knew how to help him succeed in, in the lifetime world when he didn't know. It's like a give and take thing. You just don't, like you never know who you will meet and who you will like latch on to and like, not even latch on to. You'll never know who you meet and what they'll bring to your table. Because it's people bringing everything to everybody's table, whether you see it or not. It's always a give and take thing with human society. I mean, we humans. It's always going to be like that. Always. It's never going to be just you receiving, receiving, receiving. No, you have to give to people in order to receive what you've been looking for, yearning for, wanting, all that type of good stuff. So just be coming one with yourself. Like accept your personality, accept your flaws, like accept everything that you are. Just accept it. And then wear it. Accept it and wear it. Like baby, this is, okay, this is me. You don't, if you don't like it, okay, get back. Cause I guarantee you somebody else gonna do it. Somebody else gonna like it. Somebody else is gonna love it, baby. Okay, okay. Like, okay then, you ain't stopping nothing. Like I'm still me, I'm still that girl. You don't have to be that girl outside looking like a whole nine yard freaking steak cuisine meal. You do not have to look like that on the outside. You can be that girl because you accept what you got going on on the inside and you also make it look like you still own and popping on the outside. That's what you do. You start from the inside and work your way out, okay? You don't go from the outside and work your way in because you're pretty much digging yourself a deeper hole to get out of when you try to go and work on the internal. Like you're that girl regardless of you not being like fashionably noticed or where um, like, don't wear makeup. You're still that girl, baby. Okay? Society does not deem freaking... They don't deem nothing. You deem it for yourself, okay? Accept everything that comes with you in 2023. Accept it. Accept all of it. And if they don't like it, kick their butts to the curb. Because we're not stressing over nobody in 2023. Okay? Family, cousins, sisters, uh, uh, friends, exes, sad, sneaky links. Like, no, we not stressing over nobody, okay? We gonna do us. Find you some hobbies, like, get you going. Yeah, no, we're not stressing over nobody in 2023. And we're not gonna be looking at the next person saying, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, baby. Everything that you want is going to be for you, okay? Everything you need will always be for you. Don't look at the next person's place and be like, I want what she got. You don't even eat what she eating. Like, stop it. Stop comparing yourself. And another thing I want to touch base on is hobbies. Guys, you have to get hobbies. Hobbies. Have hobbies because that's what's going to get you out of social media. Okay? Sorry, I have to bring my phone. 
But have hobbies because that's going to get you out of social media. It's, and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to freaking love it. I kid you not. Because you have something to think about. Other than what social media tells you, you got to think about because it's on social media. Like, it does not matter what the hobby is. Like, you could just want to play with cats for 30 minutes a day. It's your hobby. It's something that you like. Then do it. Like, do it. This mask has to stay on my face for about 25, 20 minutes. My face takes forever to dry. I don't know why. But it's, it says on a, in a bottle 10 to 15 minutes, but I put keep mine on for about 20, 25. And then it, as you put, as it's like drying, you feel it squeezing your face. It feels so good. Feels good. But right now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause the chat right now. I'm gonna make me a smoothie. Bananas, strawberries, blackberries, <clears throat> Grapes, grape juice. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so <clears throat> I have my ice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have my ice, the bananas. <clears throat> shoot. I have my ice, bananas, strawberries, rasp, I mean, grapes, blackberries, and um, grape juice in here. This is what it looks like. Then I'm about to mix it up for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I made the smoothie. This is what it looks like. It looks all purpley. It looks very pretty. I'm going to put it in my nice pretty cup right here. Yes, at the top. Okay, yeah. Let's see what it looks like, you guys. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Guys, as you can see, I had a, a, a very... <laughs> I spilled my smoothie and now I only have like like not even a full cup of smoothie and I'm very sad and um I can't really talk as I can tell why I'm like sounding like this because the mask is gripping my face as you can tell I cannot move my lips that much um so I don't know if I'm gonna end this video with me just saying do not spill your smoothies and stay tuned for part two of the grill chat on just being yourself and loving you. I'm sorry, I can't really talk. I mean, look at my lips, they're so crusty and ashy. You can't really smile neither. Uh, <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you for watching me. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment. Polka 2K, Polka 2K, 2K, she is out. <laughs>